3,019 horsepower. That number sounds like something out of a science fiction movie or an exaggerated figure from a video game, but what if I told you that this is the power figure of a production car that has already been declared with China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology and is about to be legally driven on the road? Welcome to Volt China. Today we're not just talking about an ordinary electric car, but a performance beast from China. The track version of the Yangwang U9, a high-end brand under BYD. 3,019 horsepower not only shatters the 1,500 horsepower ceiling of traditional gasoline-powered supercars, but also makes top electric hypercars, including the Remac Nevera, seem somewhat conservative. Is this a true engineering miracle, or just a numbers game for publicity? What disruptive technology is hidden behind it? Today, we will delve deep into the soul of this car, from its powertrain, battery, and electronic controls to its body. To give you a complete analysis of how 3019 horsepower went from a wild idea to reality, please fasten your seatbelts. Our in-depth analysis starts now. First, where does this terrifying power come from? The answer lies in the wheels. The core of the Yangwang U 9-track edition is four independent permanent magnet synchronous motors, model TZ240XYA. Imagine not one engine, but four. Each motor has a peak power of up to 555 kilowatts, which translates to about 755 horsepower. That's right, one of its motors is almost equivalent to the total power of a top-tier gasoline sports car. The four motors work in concert to ultimately produce 2,220 kilowatts, which is the 3,019 horsepower. We mentioned at the beginning, BYD calls this system the E to the power of four platform technology. But it's fundamentally different from most all-wheel drive systems we are familiar with. Traditional AWD, whether through a drive shaft or shared electricity, always has delays and losses in power distribution. The E to the power of four platform, however, is a true four-wheel independent drive. What does this mean? It means the system can independently and precisely control the torque of each wheel. A computer can command each wheel like four individual soldiers, ensuring each one outputs the most appropriate power at any given moment. The response speed of this control is on the millisecond level, hundreds of times faster than that of a traditional mechanical differential. When you're cornering at high speed, the system can increase the torque to the outer wheels while reducing it to the inner wheels, creating an internal force that helps the car turn, making the vehicle stick to the apex as if held down by an invisible hand. Even in extreme situations, like a tire blowout, the system can instantly adjust the torque of the other three wheels to maintain vehicle stability. This is the ultimate handling and safety redundancy brought by independent drive. With powerful motors, the next question is, how do you feed these four electric tigers, especially when they are all at full power? This brings us to the most controversial and astonishing part of the Yangwang U9, its battery technology. The discharge rate of a typical electric car battery is usually between 3 to 5 C. You can simply understand this C as the speed at which the battery releases energy. 5C means the battery can discharge all its energy in one-fifth of an hour or 12 minutes. And the Yangwang U9 track edition? Its target is an astonishing 30 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees Celsius means this battery can, in theory, unleash all its stored energy in just two minutes. This kind of explosive power is equivalent to fitting a 2.5-ton truck with the engines of four Formula One cars. This almost challenges the physical limits of current power batteries, especially lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries. So much so that Rimac's CEO publicly expressed skepticism in an interview, stating that it would be very difficult for an LFP battery to achieve a sustained discharge of over 20 degrees Celsius. So, how did BYD do it? They used several black technologies. First, Electrode structure optimization. They improve the internal structure of the blade battery, reducing the migration resistance of lithium ions by 50%. You can think of it as widening the highway for energy output inside the battery, allowing energy to flow faster and smoother. Second, the fourth generation LFP material. BYD adopted a new generation of cathode material with higher purity and higher compaction density, using nanoscale pulverization processes and special additives. This perfects the crystal structure within the material, 
shortens the running path for lithium ions, lowers internal resistance, and thus enhances the ability for instantaneous high current discharge. Third, high performance anode and electrolyte. They used artificial graphite with a larger specific surface area as the anode and added high performance PEO polyethylene oxide electrolyte. The combination of these materials further reduces the battery's internal resistance and improves discharge performance. In simple terms, BYD has squeezed unprecedented performance potential out of LFP batteries, known for safety and stability, but relatively weaker in burst power, through breakthroughs in both material science and structural design. This is not just a technological victory, but a bold challenge to the industry's conventional wisdom. All right, we have top-tier muscles and a powerful heart, but to make them work together perfectly, we also need a brain and nervous system that are extremely fast and intelligent. This is the electronic control system of the Yangwang U9. The core of this system is BYD's self-developed 800-volt silicon carbide Psi-C electronic control technology. Compared to traditional IGBT power devices, the advantages of silicon carbide are overwhelming. Its maximum efficiency reaches 99.5%, with minimal energy loss. Current output capability is increased by 100%, and power density is also increased by 100%. This means that in the same volume, it can control a more powerful current while generating less heat. This is crucial for a supercar, where every inch of space is precious, and cooling requirements are extremely high. And to make these four motors work together like a symphony orchestra, the Yangwang U9 adopts a central computing platform plus domain controller architecture. You can think of it as a neural network with a central brain and regional cerebellums. The central brain is responsible for overall coordination, issuing commands to various regional controllers via a high bandwidth, low latency in-vehicle ethernet. The regional controllers are then responsible for precise execution ultimately achieving precise control and millisecond-level torque distribution for the four motors. This system can also automatically adjust its strategy based on different driving scenarios. In track mode, it becomes extremely aggressive, squeezing out every last horsepower. In daily driving mode, it becomes more focused on energy efficiency and comfort. This gives the Yangwang Yu 9 the split personality to switch between a performance beast and a daily driver. 3,019 horsepower is meaningless if it cannot be effectively transferred to the ground. How to handle such immense power while controlling the vehicle's weight is the ultimate challenge for all supercar designers. The Yangwang U9 has delivered an answer that can be described as a work of art. First is lightweighting. At its core, it is the first domestic model in China to feature an integrated carbon fiber monocoque, officially called the Super Carbon Cabin. This cabin uses T700 grade aerospace carbon fiber material formed in one piece through an autoclave process. This design not only greatly reduces weight, but also provides unparalleled body rigidity and safety. The roof is also standard with carbon fiber and a full carbon fiber aerodynamic package, including a swan neck rear wing, is optional. Through a series of extreme lightweight designs, the curb weight of the Yangwang U9 track edition is still controlled at 2,480 kilograms, even after being equipped with four heavy motors and a huge battery. 2,480 kilograms might not sound light, but don't forget it has 3,019 horsepower. This means its power to weight ratio is an astonishing 1,217 horsepower per ton. What does that mean? This figure is already very close to that of an F1 car. Second is aerodynamics. To glue the vehicle firmly to the ground, the designers of the Yangwang U9 have armed it to the teeth. It has six sets of multifunctional air ducts that precisely manage every bit of airflow over the car body, providing efficient cooling for the motors, battery, and brake system. The new annular mountain-shaped wind deflector design can guide airflow around the wheels, effectively reducing drag while creating downforce on the front axle. The huge four-position adjustable electric rear wing can automatically adjust between 0 and 20 degrees, according to the vehicle's speed and driving mode, working in conjunction with the active diffuser to provide maximum downforce while minimizing air resistance. The iconic carbon fiber swan neck wing can provide up to 280 kilograms of downforce at high speeds, making the vehicle as stable as a rock 
during high-speed cornering. So, on the stage that gathers the world's top performance monsters, where exactly does the Yangwang U9 track edition stand? Let's do a simple comparison with a few well-known top electric supercars. Power Output Yangwang U9 track Edition 3019 horsepower 2220 kilowatts Rimac Nevera R Approximately 2107 horsepower 1550 kilowatts Lotus Avija Approximately 1972 horsepower 1450 kilowatts Without a doubt in terms of pure power figures the Yangwang U9 is the undisputed king, elevating the power race to a whole new dimension. Power to weight ratio. Yangwang U9 Track Edition. 1217 horsepower per ton. Rimac Nevera. R. Approximately 870 horsepower per ton. Lotus Avija. Approximately 810 horsepower per ton. In power to weight ratio, a core indicator of a vehicle's acceleration and handling potential. The Yangwang U9 also holds a huge advantage, meaning it will have terrifying explosive power at launch and when accelerating out of corners. Torque control capability. Yangwang U9 track. Addition. Four motor independent torque vectoring control. Millisecond level response. Rimac Navera slash Lotus Avija colon. Also powerful quad motor all-wheel drive, but in terms of control algorithms and response speed, the E to the power of 4 platform of the Yangwang U9 appears more aggressive and high profile in its marketing. The birth of the Yangwang U9 track edition is not just a success for BYD, but a concentrated outbreak of the technological accumulation and innovation capabilities of the entire Chinese automotive industry. It proves to the world that a new era is coming. Of course, the final judgment of a car still needs to be left to the track and the market. BYD has also set a goal to conquer the green hell, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. We look forward to it using its lap time to legitimize its 3019 horsepower. So, what are your thoughts on this 3019 horsepower performance monster? Do you think this is an inevitable trend in the development of electric vehicles? Or a tech spectacle? Without regard to cost? Feel free to leave your opinions in the comment section below and discuss with us. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Volt China, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of our in-depth content on Chinese technological innovation. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.